At a time when gratitude is top of mind, we give thanks for Slidell Police Officer Jason Seals, who gave his life for our community and for his family, whose sacrifice is no less profound. Today, we've come to honor and remember a real life hero. The young motorcycle officer fell victim to the cruelest irony, fatally injured in a crash while escorting a funeral procession that would lead to his own just eight weeks later. Ah. Hundreds of officers came from near and far to honor Seals and wrap his family in a blue embrace. At 35, Seals was too young to go, his wife and kids too young to be left behind. But if there is comfort in loss, it's knowing a life was well lived and had meaning. Officer Jason Steele, Prestigious Motor Division, is 10 7, end of watch, November 17, gone but not forgotten. Tonight, on this eve of Thanksgiving, we show you the impact Officer Jason Seals made on those who knew him and give thanks for the legacy of service, faith, and love that endures. Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Tom Trung. It was a solemn goodbye for a police officer. Today, family, friends, and fellow officers gathered to celebrate the life of Slidell Police Officer Jason Seals. Paul Murphy joins us from the Slidell Police Department where officers are in mourning tonight. Paul. Karen, Tom, Jason Seals is remembered tonight as a police officer who served with honor, a larger than life character, and a family man who apparently liked to hug. As one speaker put it at his funeral, Seals' life may have been cut short. Think about the life he led. Law enforcement officers arrived by the dozens to honor a fallen policeman who served the Slidell community with honor, humility, and fun-loving humor. Thousands of people packed the North Shore Harbor Center to say goodbye to Slidell officer Jason Seals, who died over the weekend from injuries he received during an on-duty motorcycle crash nearly two months ago. His pastor called Seals a real-life superhero. Sometimes in the real world, superheroes make the ultimate sacrifice as they serve and protect others. Jason did that. Others talked about Seals as a good man devoted to service in God, a jokester, and an enthusiastic hugger. Jason always greeted everyone with a smile and open arms. And whether you wanted one or not, you were getting a hug, maybe even a kiss. I wish I could tell you how sorry I am that I didn't accept every hug you wanted to give me. What I would do for a hug from him right now. The 35-year-old Seals was also a family man. He leaves behind a loving wife and three children. His daughter, Liliana, brought the funeral to an emotional peak with her last dance for daddy. An honor guard with officers from across the region accompanied Seals' flag draped coffin as it left the funeral service. More than 100 motorcycle officers then led a funeral procession through Slidell to Forest Lawn Cemetery. As Seals was laid to rest, a police dispatcher broadcast his final call. End of watch, November 17th, 2018. Now, as Paul Murphy reporting, hundreds of people lined the streets of Slidell as the funeral procession for Officer Seals made its way to Forest Lawn Cemetery. Photojournalist Derek Waldrop spoke with some of the people who were there to pay their respects. I came out here because I wanted to, to support the cop, Jason, um, and pay respects because he was a hero. <clears throat> And I just really wanted to like support him because he like fights for us and protects our city. My daughter got the pleasure of meeting him at school. He's just very dear to a lot of people that we know. Well, I think it's our civic duty to pay respect to any of the fallen, be it military, police, any of the first responders. They risk their lives for us every day. You know, the least we can do is show some support for them. It's just a very good way of showing your respect for someone who fights to protect our city every day and keep us safe. It's just amazing how many people come out here to support one person. They do so much for us and like some of us wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. 
And again, that was Derek Waldrop reporting. It was an extraordinary turnout on the streets of Slidell today. We will have continuing coverage of Officer Seals' funeral on the Eyewitness News at 6, as well as on our website, our free smartphone app, and on our social media pages.